Hello fellow adventurers and collectors, Phil Mahalik here, and today we're going to be looking at several parts to the Doom Guy custom, and to start things off we're going to be looking at replacing a neck peg. So what I utilize here is this little pipe or little tubing that I found at Menards. I don't remember the exact size, but I end up using two different sizes. One to get the right about right level of thickness, and then another to get the thickness of the actual ball joint. And as you'll see, it just fits right into the head sculpt. But I noticed that um, as the milliput uh, dried, it actually shrunk the head. So be aware of that as well. But as you can see with the two pieces inside, it pretty much works the same way as a neck peg. So if you're missing a neck, neck peg, it's a good alternative to replacing it. And you still get the same range of mobility and everything like that. So figured I'd share that little tidbit that I found along the way. Now in terms of bodies, this is the Soldier Stories body that I've, you know, advocated a lot for because uh, it's one of my favorites and it's the most articulated. But for this project, I needed something a little bit more muscular. And this is an easy and simple body, I think. And as you've grown as a collector, you kind of get to familiar with what brands are out there. And that's 3A, by the way. And uh, you'll notice things like quality between the companies. And this is a bootleg, I want to say, of a Hot Toys body. And they don't really sell those anymore, so... I ended up having to go with this guy and he's a bit more muscular and his shoulders are a lot broader so it fills out the shirt a little bit more and then I of course also use thigh thickeners because you know thick thighs <laughs> but um yeah you can see there's a lot of uh, ranges in terms of body types out there so you don't have to just stick to the generic ones that you see from Hot Toys or something like that so I'll leave a link if I can to the exact body this is or a description I'll actually add the name of that but with that said uh, moving on to the head I actually ended up um, ditching the plan to add a translucent visor because I figured it would be weird to have something showing nothing pretty much because I didn't sculpt any eyes I'm not that good at sculpting so um, I had just ended up sculpting the visor and then uh, basically painting it myself. And granted, I'm no Picasso or anything, but I at least got the job done. It, it, it's an admirable effort, I guess. This is the first uh, blocking effort that I did. And the green paint that I used was very thin, so it came, to, it came out like this, so it was very bizarre. But later on, I ended up just mixing uh, together a better uh, concoction, so to speak. But the end result is passable in my book. I'm not, again, no expert. And if I ever do recast this head sculpt, I'll definitely try, you know, spray painting it or something later down the line. But for right now, I do like how it came out. And I'm um, probably going to get another black wash because the one I mixed up wasn't the best. So I'll, I'll admit defeat on that part. But uh, here's the end result. And like I said, it's passable. It's nothing great. But I do like how it turned out. It's uh, definitely closer to the game design now that it's all painted up because this entire time I was doubting it. But I don't know. I, I think I did a okay effort. And yeah, part three is going to be the body armor. And I have some things coming in that I might use for this project. I'm not entirely sure, but be on the lookout for that. So like always, I appreciate, appreciate you guys checking this video out. And... Uh, until next time, I'll see you guys around. Oh, and before I forget, uh, please like, comment, and or subscribe. I'd very much appreciate it. Alright, I'll see ya.